your girl Evan loving it and welcome to another travel vlog hey so I haven't explored the city yet it's because it took me a while to adjust with the time difference although I'm not gonna lie that I've been productive even if I can't sleep at night so I posted a lot of travel vlogs last night I checked out the best restaurants in Mexico City according to TripAdvisor according to CN Traveler and I was like why not try some of the best restaurants in Mexico City? I also want to check out the local spots, like the locals go to. So that's why I booked a taco tour later on this afternoon. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. I'm gonna book an Uber right now and go to the first restaurant. See you there. Tacuba numero 8. Ah, okay. Gracias. been a chef for 11 years now. Wow. You must love food, huh? Yes, I love to eat. <laughs>
days later. And good morning, everyone. <laughs> I have to speak soft because I think my neighbors can hear me. So it's currently 5.54 a.m. here in Mexico. And I just uploaded a travel vlog for you guys, which is the solo traveler's first impressions of Mexico City and also going to Mercado de Artes Artesanas. I only had one meal yesterday, and that is breakfast. The reason why I didn't get to eat yesterday is because I went to the city and I didn't know that it's Dios de las Muertes Parade. I know I should have done my research. I actually hired a photographer to take photos of me in the city. She also didn't know that there's a parade going on. I ordered this through Uber Eats. I'm so happy that this restaurant is open. I think they're open 24-7 and it's called La Casa de Toño, Zona Rosa. I got the quesadilla and the quesadilla with carne. The quesadilla is quite dry. I don't know if it should be like that. As for the taco tour, I would recommend for you guys to do a taco tour because as for me, I can't speak Spanish, although I understand a little bit of their context of what they're trying to say. We went to three different taquerias. It was really good. It's like different in every taqueria. I really like the Los Cuyocos. Mm. Mm. I would really recommend for you to get this quesadilla carne because this one is all oh it's spoiled it's a bit dry the carne is juicy I really like it I really want you to go to this Mission Star restaurant which is like the best restaurant like the best best restaurant in Mexico City but you have to have a reservation it's called Pujol hopefully next time before I go to Mexico City I would do a reservation beforehand or maybe I think it will take a year before I can get a table living in the Philippines I'm so used to having like this idea of tacos meat cheese and what do you call that the cabbage but going here I had no idea they have different like varieties also if you ask the restaurant is it spicy and they tell you no spicy it's most like most likely spicy every time you go to a taqueria they have this like different kinds of salsa on the table next time for sure when i'm not jet lagged anymore and i visit mexico city again i will try out the other best restaurants in mexico city thank you so much for watching give this video a big thumbs up if you like it subscribe to Anna love in it if you haven't done that yet and i'll see you guys on the next travel vlog bye i love you all Thank <laughs> you.